then when I leave, it's so tough. I'd say for me, that's probably one of the hardest things about traveling full time would be um, leaving friends and family because I miss them when I'm not around them. And then you kind of get a little bit used to like them not being around. Oh, so nice to be in the forest again. And I should be able to hike up to that alpine region. That is a trail after my own heart. So that right there is a special trail to me. That's the first trail that, is that true? It is true. That's the first trail I did a solo backpacking adventure on. It was the Wonderland Trail. I completed it by myself and that was the first time I had ever actually backpacked solo. So I kind of just jumped in head first. Um, and it was probably one of one of my top few accomplishments in life only because it was so far outside my comfort zone to go by myself at the time. Um, and it was just one of the best experiences of my life to be able to do it. Because when you come out the other side and you've done the entire thing and you've backpacked like 100 miles by yourself and survived and lived to tell about it, you just uh, end up feeling super accompli accomplished and um, independent and just just like you can do anything um, if you set your mind to it, which is generally true in life. Frequently, we underestimate our capabilities. So to me, that was like a big one. Um, it was kind of a huge step in life to be able to finish that. Not to mention it is an absolutely spectacular trail to through hike. Um, if you're a backpacker at all, you need to do that trail. So change of plans. Here's what I'm thinking. Just talked to a ranger and he said, because unfortunately what was bog and packwood is smoke in Rainier. So what I'm seeing is actually totally smoke, which is gross. Um, I'm not so sure about sucking in smoke during a hike, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, I might wear a mask or bandana or something and just tough it out um, and see how it goes for a little ways. Um, he did say because the fires are to the north that the good news for me is that the campgrounds have not been nearly as full as they usually are. So he said that he's pretty sure that there will be a spot there at the White River campground if I were to hit there later. So I'm going to um, just checking out the map now. So tomorrow my plan is to do a super epic day hike from the visitor center down Summerland to the Panhandle Gap and then back out since I can't get a backpacking overnight permit. So I'll go all the way back out. Currently, if you back along the road, I'll show you where I'm at. Back, 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 back. <laughs> And I am all the way by Cougar Rock, Comet Falls. Okay, so talking to the ranger today, who was super helpful, I think I'm going to go to Comet Falls. He said, smoke aside, it would be a really nice hike. And I could probably do it today. Because um, it's already four, but I think I could probably do it in about two hours. Um, it's about five miles, so... It is up, 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 but I think I can, I think it should be okay. It's kind of gross out and I probably shouldn't go, but I'm here. So I'm going to go for a little ways. It's already after um, five, so I'm going to move on here. Hey, that's a good looking van. I don't often get to see it from this perspective.
that were fog, it would be pretty. But since that's smoke, that's gross. if I'll go out tomorrow if it's not better. I'm wearing a mask, but... Ah. Up that staircase, I had the Rocky song in my head. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Trying to double time it because you don't want to be hiking in the dark, even though I have a headlamp with me. So I need to step to it. I'm trying to do at least uh, three miles an hour uphill. So Gotta go. That's the trail. Ah, to the top. Go check it out. Wow. Man, I'd love to be here on a clear day. Look at that, Comet Falls. Look at all that ice still up here. Okay, so I did it. Uh, I'm up here, it took me about, I guess it's been about 40, 40 minutes, I think. I left around 5.18 and it's, uh, about six o'clock right now so um i am gonna have to not hang out here too long and jet back down so that i make sure to get out of here before it's dark out there's not going to be much uh um dusk tonight because it's so smoky out i think at some point everything's just going to disappear and it's going to be dark uh sooner than later I really want to get up closer to the falls so i am going to go just a little bit further and check it out I'm gonna double time it. You ready for this? Holy chuckles. makes me happy what an amazing hike not long but like check that out that's like snow melt so <laughs> that was cold to be near it at first uh, the mist felt really good because I've been hiking uphill for the last mile and a half or two miles or whatever and uh, but after about two minutes over there a little chilly so now I'm gonna double or triple time it back to the van one more one more shot 
Comet Falls, not Rainier. Let's double time it back down the hill. So hopefully I'll be back uh, well before seven, jump in the van, and then find somewhere to camp for tonight. And we're back. All right, so there's the statistics. So it actually was what? Uh, 3.8, 1. 1. 1.9 miles each way. So I did pretty good. It's about 45 minutes up and less down, but not too much less because I gotta take care of my knees. So, um, and 900 feet gain. So it wasn't, it was moderate, but it sure was cool. It'd be great to see it with blue skies. No blue skies for me. Maybe someday. Okay, I've got the beast fired up and fingers crossed there's a campsite available at White River, which is where I'm headed um, since it's about sunset right now. Hoping to get there before dark and hopefully they have a spot for me. Kind of a creepy haze out there. Yikes. There's Reflection Lake for you.